He dreamt in the fall. Not anywhere near the record yet. That's held by Mark King. Okay, Dave. Twelve times, forty-eight points. I think it was he gave away. Well, we will go back. Foul. Yes. Peter Abdon four. this time. Yes, just mentioned that uh, 48 points was marking by Stephen Lee in the 1997 UK Open. My statistician and fellow commentator, Mr Smith, has just confirmed that. Thank you very much. But uh, well, Peter has forced the error. Frame is at his mercy now, although he's 21 points behind. There's only a couple of awkward reds. Within a few pots, he's gone favoured. In this frame, of course. Eight. Yes, it would be a massive one for him to win from 43 points down after that nice little break from David. Well, it would be a massive blow, body blow to David Gray as well. Nine. Elected to go up for the pink. Put another high value colour on its own spot. We'll play on the red just beyond uh, the bolt line. Well, I'm very surprised. I cannot believe he's played that shot. What on earth is he doing there? Fifteen. Why doesn't he just play on the red? Near the uh, green pocket. I cannot believe he's played that shot. He was trying to remove one of the reds, of course, but far too early in the break. There's no need for it. He's got four or five reds open. Anyway, these boys are out there, they make the decisions, but why on earth he didn't stun down for that red, I will never know. I don't understand playing that shot with only two reds left. But not with uh, six on the table and all in relatively open positions. Needs a good pot here to continue. Well, Peter will be Peter very angry with 15. himself. With that great opportunity. Even more so now that he's uh, left David with a chance of nicking this in. One. Well, I'll go back to the game. I just I think Peter just had a brainwave there. I really just cannot believe he, he played that. That shot on the red, trying to knock it off the cushion with all those open reds on. But anyway, it's David Gray that's back in. Well, I probably meant a brainstorm rather than a brain wave, but well, you know what I meant. Four. Yeah, it wasn't exactly a brain wave, was it? It's given David the opportunity, though, to try and uh, put the finishing touches to this third frame, and he desperately needs to get it on the board. You know, he's two down, hasn't had a lot of table time. We've seen Peter Ebden already make breaks of 106 and 96. 2 1, of course, better than 3 0. Oh. Oh, in and out. David Gray, 5. Well, that really was a poor shot.
one. You can't believe he's missed that blue. Let's have another look. It just seemed to go all the way around the pocket and out again. Oof. Well, uh, just perhaps he's playing that with a bit of check sign, Mike. A little bit of left on the side to square the white up. I don't think he had a bad contact. Just didn't calculate the angle properly. Yellow ball. Peter will still need that red near the side cushion, though. Three. Two. made a better fist of that one this time, nudging that red off the side cushion. Uh, it just depends whether the pink passes that red, it might not. He elected to uh, nudge that one away from the side cushion. 